the very top rooftop seats up here where you can watch the game from. So, an excellent view up here too. This would be awesome. It's a rainy day in St. Louis and we're at the ballpark village. It's located right across the street from Bush Stadium where the Cardinals play. The mighty St. Louis Cardinals, I might add. So I'm a fan. But we're going to uh, go inside, eat at Ballpark Village. There's several restaurants there and there's entertainment going on. Uh, there's a fudge shop right there and different things. Jamba Juice. When the games are on, they broadcast from here, Fox Sports Midwest. So we'll see what's going on. Right now we're under the umbrella to keep from getting wet. So we're going in. Hi. We're in Ballpark Village, seated indoors. Yeah, just ordered our food. This is a very cool place. We're sitting kind of in front of the giant screen, which is great to be sitting at when a game is going on and there's just of course screens everywhere as you would expect and want and we're just gonna sit here and eat and then kind of take a tour of the place but it's a great facility located right across the street from Cardinals Bush Stadium and this is just a big indoor atrium area and there's free Wi-Fi at Ballpark Village so that's cool they did want your email address and gender and age range and all that to get it, but that's not too bad. What did, you, what did you get, Donna? I got the appetizers, which is the three, three pork sliders. Yeah. I'm going to try one now. Here comes the review. Mm. Really good. Yeah. It's good. Really messy. <laughs> is also known for their barbecue. Yeah. So. Okay. And maybe it's just you that's messy. And these are like uh, homemade chips. Like they make them here out of potatoes. Oh. And I just got a salad and uh, chicken strips and fries and it was uh, like eleven ninety five or something. It's like cranberries in your salad. Yeah. And almonds. Looks like a healthy it salad. Like gummy bears. I wish. I think it's tomatoes. I asked for gummy bears. I got the kids mac and cheese. Mm, yeah. Because I'm really just a kid. Okay. Love the big screens. This whole area is just really cool. Uh, it's kind of quiet right now since there's no uh, game today in St. Louis. They're out of town. And, uh, it's just regular people coming, I guess, over for lunch or whatever. When there's a game on, this place is packed and noisy. It's a brew house. Nation. And you can even buy tickets for the ball games here in Ballpark Village. We've got a little kiosk where you can put in your card and select your seats and all that, so it's pretty cool. Ballpark Village is literally across the street from the stadium. You walk out here, and there is the stadium. We'll just look at it from here since it is raining. <laughs> but people come to the game and then afterwards or before they come to Ballpark Village and uh, it's a great place to hang out. But great location. Lots of parking in this area too. They sell some uh, rooftop seating here actually at Ballpark Village where you can see the game from there and eat. So that's kind of cool. We're looking for the fudge shot. All right. <laughs> Nation, that's a cool bar area. I like the uh, baseball bat handles. So this is the second floor of the Cardinals Nation restaurant and bar. This is a great place. What a perfect baseball atmosphere this whole ballpark village is. Some more Cardinal greats. 
So you can actually uh, eat up here. And this is the entrance to the Hall of Fame Museum on the second floor here. Rally Squirrel Jersey. Rally Squirrel played a major part in our victory that year. So we're going to go look out the viewing area. A good view of the field from up here. So this would be a great place to sit and eat while the game was going on. This is a nice room on the second floor. Nice seating in here. Great atmosphere. Cardinals do it right. This is the Hall of Fame Museum. Cardinals memorabilia. Eighty two world champions. Okay. Oh, D. McGee. Been Two thousand six World been Series been Hall. Been this is the Cardinals Hall of Fame. All the way from Rogers Hornsby. Dizzy Dean, Stan Angel, Bruce Sutter, and Jim Edmonds. This is an outdoor area by the Ballpark Village. With a big screen TV out there and the dugout bar where you can get Ted Drew's frozen custard, which is awesome and famous in St. Louis. They have a lot of events and things out there and uh, movie nights. So, pretty cool. More of the stadium. Left field. This is the AT&T rooftop bar and the seating you can get here during the games. Oh, this is great. You can sit here and watch the game and eat. There's a buffet. This is very cool. On a nice day, this would be a great place to sit and watch the game. Perfect view. And there's some more outdoor seating. Very cool. More seats here on another level. And these are the very top rooftop seats up here where you can watch the game from. So, an excellent view up here too. This would be awesome. But um, I'm sure the ticket prices, I think the ones down below were $110 with that was uh, with the buffet. And there is a tour going on down at the field right now. You can get tours of Bush Stadium, and they don't stop them even during the rain. Let's get your umbrellas. This is really neat. So when did this open? What year? It's been, um, it was a year in April. Just a year? Because everything <laughs> looks so new. It yeah, looks yeah, been been amazing. April. So this is the first phase, and then they're planning two more phases after this. This is the view of the main ballpark village open area from the second floor but you can kind of see a little better just how big it is and what they've got going on so we're going to see what's up here oh yeah and eventually get outside and get to the fudge shop <laughs> you have to exit the building to get to that and this is where uh, fox sports midwest broadcast during the game Oh, look, a little studio. So we see them on TV all the time. Uh, of course, nothing going on right now. This is the crown room. Bar. Restaurant. You can sit up here and watch the game really good just because of the size of that screen. Cowboy bar. So, so bars and clubs, which is 
Let's go. Now at the moon. We're in the bar and they're having a meeting with the bat girls and bat boys for the St. Louis Cardinals, so I didn't want to intrude on that. I wonder how they that. get those jobs. I don't know. Nice bar area on the first floor. There's a little stage area. Concerts, the home of St. Louis Sports, Fox Sports, Midwest Live. There's the summer concert series. And of course there's a shop where you can buy souvenirs. Cardinal stuff. They have all kinds of special events here. Some out on that uh, open area. things here. And this is this phase one. Fudge shop is over here. Donna found that right away. It's a fudge shop poster. Looks like a takeoff on Jurassic Park. It's your classic fudge from the fudgery. And right across the street here too is Mike Shannon's restaurant. Their former third baseman and broadcaster. So a lot of people go there after the game. This is the outside of the Cardinals Nation area. Shows the World Series wins for the Cardinals. I think it's 11 now. Yeah. Might be 12 this year. This is 2015. They're doing good. Right now, best record in baseball. This outside area is known as the Bush to infield area. So it's like a little infield area from the stadium. And this is where they have outdoor events. And I saw on their schedule they're having uh, free CrossFit classes out here and yoga classes out here. So they do things uh, for the community. This is where they do their free movie nights. I saw they were showing the Lego movie and they showed Grease. And I don't know what else they've got coming up, but different kinds of movies that anybody can come to and it's free. And this is a Cardinal shop. More Cardinal stuff to buy. That's cool. You can get a game used baseball from tonight's game before you leave. $35. And you can personalize your own Louisville Slugger bat. Full size $70. Mini size $35. That's cool. And it says it's add value and change pricing. Awesome. I imagine that was an important hit or something. Or they got a hit with it. Actually, instead of a foul ball or a pass ball or something, they work on. Get out of that helmets for different prices. Like Carpenter 100, Adam Rainer 110, Matt Holiday 110, Michael Walker 110. We were really impressed with the Ballpark Village. Next to being in Bush Stadium for an actual game, it's probably the best place to watch a game because of the giant screen that's there and the big crowd that's always there would be a lot of excitement in the air and it's also a good place to eat there's several restaurants and the whole facility uh, is only in phase one phase two will include more shopping phase three I believe will add a hotel so as good as it is it's just going to get better so we would definitely recommend you go and check it out and thanks for checking out this video and if you have time please like share subscribe and comment if you would. Have a great day. Bye.